So this would be easy to miss. You can see on this post that the trail is going out from behind the fence to where you're just hiking along the side of uh, 484. So as a marker, I'm gonna continue on up here to the stoplight and that way I'll know where I stopped. Uh, of course, you can see the big sign there. What does that say? Uh, um, Cannon Farms. Okay, so that's be as, that'll be as far as we get today on the Florida Trail. So this is, you know, this is what I was talking about. I think you gotta just hike along the side of the road until you get to um, the Pruitt Trailhead if you're gonna hike the Florida Trail, which is kind of disappointing. You know, I wish that, uh, well, you know, understand it's private property. So I'm sure they wouldn't want people hiking behind that fence right there, but sure would have been nice. And uh, it, it, that's another thing, you know, if, you, if you're not familiar with the Florida Trail, you would never guess <laughs> that this was part of it. Because uh, they, they don't really, I mean, especially in the summertime, they don't cut this. And this is actually unhikeable next to the road. Um, and, you know, in my mind, it's, it's somewhat dangerous. Uh, we do a uh, Florida man, Florida man. There are a lot of crazy drivers here in Florida. So I'll wait till I'm on my way back and we get into the woods. I just wanted to have a marker of where I stopped because uh, at some point I will have to just come back and just hike along the road. I don't even think I'll make a video that day or maybe I'm actually what I'll do is probably just make a brief video and then tack it on to another uh, hike somewhere in the area, you know, so just say, hey, you know, this is the Florida Trail and today I hiked from the stoplight up to the Pruitt Trailhead. So, uh, so we got a little ways further on the Florida Trail and uh, we're still knocking it out. So we went, um, we went west this time. Like I said, the west is, it's pretty safe. You know, it's not like going up into the Akala National Forest, which is hopefully where I'm gonna be tomorrow. I'm not on the Florida Trail, but on that yearling trail. And like I said, see, this is kind of a tough hike, you know, cause you're on the side, I'm on the side of a hill. Yeah, too bad about all the trash, you know. I don't know why people do, do that and just throw their trash all over the road, but uh, let's get up to the stoplight. So I thought I'd just, uh, show where we stopped. This is Southwest 180th Avenue Road. Boy, look at those uh, satellite dishes over there. That looks pretty cool. It's all fenced in. I wonder what that's about. And uh, but there's no place to park here that I can see, you know. So I, I guess what the next leg, uh, if, if going west that is, is we'll have to park at the Pruitt Trailhead and hike down to the, uh, um, well, this uh, 80th uh, Avenue Road, um, or 180th, and uh, and that'll be, you know, that'll be a, just a nothing burger of a hike. But uh, if you're going to do all the Florida Trail, you you got to take the good with the bad, you know. You know what I mean? Got to take the good with the bad. At least they had cut out that uh, portion of the trail. And another thing that that you'll notice when you're hiking along the road here, which I don't understand, you see, there's no orange markers. So when I first was trying to hike the Florida Trail, I didn't know whether I was on the Florida Trail. <laughs> you know, you'd think they'd paint one maybe on the fence here or something, or, or put one of those uh, little posts up somewhere just to show that you're on the Florida Trail. But uh, this'll be it. We'll turn around right here. And then the, the next time I come uh, west, uh, we'll, uh, we'll park at Pruitt unless I figure out another place to park. I don't think I will. And then we'll just hopefully hike down to the stoplight. That, that actually is probably a long hike. I don't even know how many miles that would be. But I just hate hiking along this road. And not only is it loud and obnoxious, you know, it's uh, kind of dangerous in, in certain ways, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get all 1,400 miles of Florida Trail one way or another. All right, so let's, uh, let's tap the road and uh, turn around. So on my way back, I, you know, I saw this on the way out, and just because I'm not ready to to, to just head back, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here a ways. This is, you know, I love going off trail, and uh, you can see that uh, it looks like some four wheelers have been back in here. Well, let's see if this goes a little ways. Uh, there's nothing saying no trespassing, so uh, this could be fun. So we'll just uh, maybe go. 20 minutes this way and then 20 minutes back. So this could be cool. So this is a very nice detour, look at this. Kind of getting into some different uh, different look. 
looks like it may just be a logging trail. It looks, I don't know what that brush pile is up ahead, of, but uh, I'm glad I took the detour. It's uh, at least we're getting some different uh, different look here. So if you did want to come out and just do this portion of the Florida Trail, you could just do what I just did, get a little bit more hiking in. I mean, it's uh, better than being on the paved trail, in my opinion. Now, I don't think you'd want to do this in the um, the summertime or anything, because you know a lot of the a lot of these weeds are up high. You'd be getting some wood ticks, probably chiggers, uh, you know, that type of thing. But uh, you can see it's kind of bowing around to the to the east here. But look at that! Look at that wood pile right there. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Huh? Boy, that sun is bright. But it's kind of moving on this way. Let's just keep going. So I'll be up in that setting here because of the lighting um, shortly. But you know, the, the question that I would ask is why not route the uh, Florida Trail down here rather than going up there along the fence, unless I'm on private property or something, but as I, like I said, nothing's been marked or anything. So I don't know, uh, but this would be a much better uh, hike than uh, staying up there by the fence and especially hiking along that road. I, I bet this is going to come all the way up to that uh, that fence where the farm is, and uh, you know, and then you could just cut this up to the to the road. Um, I don't know, just a, just a note to uh, Florida trail crews, or a note to hike fellow hikers. You know, if you wanted to to get a better hike, uh, we'll see where this comes out. Um, I'm real curious. I'm real curious to see what where we end up. So the road is kind of coming to an end. It took a took a right. Uh, so you know, I could see if you'd have to if if you wanted this to be part of the Florida Show, you'd have to cut your way through there somehow. Um, I guess I'm just going to turn around at this point because it's getting pretty uh, shaggy back in here. Um, but if you were uh, if you had their hiking pants on with some hiking shoes and everything, you you could come back and probably keep going through here just to see where this goes. Uh, now, I don't know how these things keep happening to me, and I apologize again. The white balance, for some strange reason, was on auto, and I thought I was on 5,500, so what I've done now is I've upped it to 6,500. Well, you can see the road is continuing on this, this direction, so, but I'm going to turn around at this point. So now, you know, I can't even compare the 5,500 versus the 6,500 because it was on auto. I, you know, I, I don't know if the GoPro just resets its settings automatically or something, or maybe I'm just uh, brain dead, who knows. But it's pissing me off every time I think I got the settings just the way I want them. I go back in and, and it's it's on the wrong setting. So we've, we've been filming on white balance on auto the whole doggone day. So and so I don't even know what 5500 is going to look like. And this is, this is 6500 because it is getting kind of dark. So we'll get one more as it gets a lot darker because I, I got a long ways back and uh, it should be quite, uh, quite dark by the time I get back and we'll see what this looks like at 6,500. That's the white balance setting. So I'm on the way back and here's another uh, kind of road heading off into the forest. And this is where we, we're gonna, you know, we've made the turn to get up to 484 and now we're, we're heading back. I just wanted to point this out because you know, if you wanted to spend a day hiking around back here, I mean, this to me, boy, I bet that's going to be bright with that 6,500 setting, with that sun right there. But um, anyway, I mean, this would be a great place to come. And, you know, of course, you're not going to see anybody. I didn't, you know, nobody's out here but me. Um, but uh, it beats just staying on the pavement and hiking around the bike path there, you know, if you want to come out here. you got two, two roads to hike plus the trail. Um, just, just saying, I mean, you know, this, this is kind of what I like to do, you know, and some days you just want to get out and hike around for a couple, a couple, three hours to get your exercise. Now, I, like I said, it's not an easy hike. I mean, you can see, uh, it's, it's, you want some hiking shoes on. I didn't put them on today. I wasn't expecting it to be quite like this, but, uh, that's all right. I thoroughly enjoyed the day. We'll get, uh, we'll get another video when it gets darker. I want to see what this, uh, 6,500 setting them. I'm so dick doggone disappointed in myself. I mean, every time, I mean, the point, the point of putting the uh, white balance at 5,500 is it, it, it helps in the rendering of the video. 
So because you want it to stay steady at one one setting, as well, so I've been told. I don't, you know, I'm not a video expert or anything, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and that's everybody has said, you know, 5500 is 5500. Uh, and then, of course, in the early morning or in the evenings, you know, bump that up to 6,500, which is what I've done. You know, and that's supposed to help you in the rendering of the video, but if you use that auto setting, which is what it was, so now I'm not going to know what the video is going to look like for for tomorrow, you know, when I go to the yearling trail to see what, you know, if the, if the white balance at 5,500. Now, so what I'll do, I'm going to put all the settings below in the uh, description on this video because I'm going to check them when I get home. I, I don't understand how I keep getting the settings uh, messed up. I mean, it's like the GoPro is just going to defaults or something. I, 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 you know, I guess I should check before I go. Well, I will check tomorrow for sure before I go on the hike. Uh, but uh, so that's so disappointing. I mean, the whole point of today was to check the settings on the GoPro. All right, peace out. So I thought I'd get a quick selfie on the way back and finish off the video. <clears throat> so, uh, by the way, I <laughs> I don't know. I remember I was dissing them about those orange marks that they're not on the poles. Well, they're actually on the the bike path here. I I didn't I didn't see them because they're on the right side. Well, the right side as I'm going back, where they were on my left side going out, and that's why I didn't see them. So they do have it marked. We are on the Florida Trail. So we and we've knocked all this out all the way to um, Inverness, and that's going to be the next bike ride. Uh, just promoting upcoming videos. Uh, like I said, we're going to get another hike uh, at the, uh, oh, I can't remember, that blue trail uh, there at the uh, at the pond. And then, of course, uh, we'll be at um, the Yearling, Yearling Trail tomorrow. And then uh, I'm trying to find somebody to hike with me from uh, 314 to 40 because I, that's uh, really tight. It's been cut. Last time I looked at it, but uh, to me that seems like a dangerous portion of the Florida Trail. I don't know if I believe the locals. They said some panthers are back in there somewhere. Who knows? All right, so let's uh, let's just do the mantra and you know, God save the Canadian truckers. By the way, I, I just heard on the radio that uh, there's another batch of trucks coming from British Columbia descending on Ottawa. But uh, you know, to, to that idiot Trudeau, that's just a a bunch of um, a fringe element that uh, he doesn't have to pay attention to. I don't know how long they're gonna hold out, but uh, we all gotta uh, pray for him and support him as best we can. Uh, I'll certainly make a contribution. Uh, the only thing is I don't trust GoFundMe. So I wanna see if there's another place where I can uh, put in a, put my put $25 in the kitty for him. I, I wish I could afford more. Um, so, but uh, I'll try to check into that tonight. Uh, so let's do the mantra. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no lockdowns, and we are free to come and do as we please. Peace out and stay free. You know, rather than hike straight back, so right down here is the trail to go up to the car, we haven't hiked this trail. This is a uh, this is, I can't remember what the name of this trail is called. Well, this one, well, there's a trail going that way. I'm not going to go that way. Well, maybe we have, maybe this is the pond trail. I just want to see what this is going to look like in the uh, lighting where we've got the uh, white balance at uh, 6,500 because it's getting quite dark and especially, uh, you know, in the woods here. At, uh, we'll see if that really uh, brings it out because, you know, a lot of times we do get late into the evening sometimes. Uh, I never even thought I'd be here this late, so let's uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, I'd say that's probably enough. Um, it's good to good to be back in the woods again, rather than on the, the asphalt. Uh, one day we'll come back and take a left up there, and do that trail. Uh, that's I think that's the one that's on the sign, but I think this is just a pond trail that we've done before. So anyway, let's see how the lighting does. You give me uh, give me a comment below. Tell me what you think. So the sun is just about down. I thought I'd come and get a quick clip, a look at the pond. And looky here, somebody left a Coors Lake can on the tree for when there's trash cans everywhere. Imagine that. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and grab that can. At least I can clean up a little bit. Okay, but isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to see what that looks like with that uh, 6500 uh, white balance. So I just want to get this on the video. So literally, we were just right down here, maybe 100, 200 yards. 
And here's a trash can right here. Idiot. Left a beer can sitting on a tree. God, I hate people sometimes, man. Look at it. There's some more trash right there. Not going to pick that up. But uh, anyway, I mean, it's not like, I mean, I could understand if there weren't any trash cans around here. But there's a trash can every, you know, I don't know, maybe 500 yards or so, especially on this little trail right here. So, anyway, that's enough. But uh, this will be the last uh, clip. I just want to see because it's really, really getting getting kind of dark here. And uh, this is probably where that other trail, yeah, we could have taken that other trail and it would have come out right here. That would have been fun because I haven't hiked that before. At least it will think. I don't know. That might be, what does it say? It says, uh, uh, foot traffic only. Yeah, says that's a trail. That might. That's probably where the other trail went. So yeah, that's the yeah, that's the Sand Hill Loop Trail, and that's one we haven't done. So maybe we'll be back here someday. Uh, if nothing else, just to get a bike ride in, then I could just we'll make a quick video of the Sand Hill Loop Trail because we haven't done that. We've I'm on the Pond Trail right now, and that, this will be it. Route 484. We'll be there in just a sec. Peace out. Stay free. That's it. Yes. You know, sharpness at medium, and uh, and as it gets dark. I'm going to up that to 6,500 just to see what it looks like because uh, that's what I've been told by the YouTubers that you need to do, you know, when you're out in the evenings to, to get to get the, uh, the lighting on the video uh, where you want it. So I wonder what the heck that is. Hmm. All right, man. Peace out. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep on going. If, if I see something different, uh, we'll, we'll get it on the video. I'm just glad to be here. Uh, Man, I tell you, it's a long drive. It is a drive to get out here, but I, I just got to thinking. I said, you know what? I just better make a doggone test video before I go up to the yearling and make that huge video. I mean, wouldn't it be awful to be there for seven hours hiking the trail and then the video doesn't turn out very good? <laughs> you know, so, so I said, well, you know what? I got to knock this portion of the Florida trail out. Why not just come here and we'll hike a couple hours and get it in? But it is, uh, it is quite beautiful. All right.